This is a test of the emergency management crisis team here at the Hobby Logger compound. It's a real, going to be a real world test of all the new goodies we've got on here. We've got a wife that's all ready for her coffee this morning. And the first thing that happens when the power goes out, everybody says, where's the coffee? So this is going to be the test of the big coffee pot, 55 cups. So by the time we get done with all that, we are going to be in heaven. So this is what we got to start with. We got a whole bunch of new goodies. We got a new double manometer here. It's two and a half stories tall. One is for the, uh, the uh, vacuum before the final filters and the other ones after the filters. That's going to replace this little thing that gave a, a, a good idea of what was going on except for the fact it was uh, just not tall enough or big enough to handle all the, the vacuum in this thing. So we got, do have some shutoffs on it that we can uh, turn on uh, slowly once we get uh, everything fired up. And then we go for, go for the gold. So we've got our battery bank ready to go. A kilowatt meter on it. There is the left for dead. The new shutoff box with gauges. One is working, the other is not. And we have here a 100 amp quick disconnect switch. Double wired to the alternator, 100 amp. We got our wood dryer all set up with our basket of wood, our diffuser, which is a brake caliper or brake uh, drum rotor. Let's call it a rotor this time. Everybody gets confused. Put that right in there. That's how that's going to sit. Cover plate, very important. Last time we had a little bit of smoke coming out of the, the wood there. So that's going to dry the wood down to about 2% moisture for those who care. And uh, we've got a new tension arm for the alternator. And I'm hoping that works out good. Brandy new belt. And there's the, uh, the big vacuum. So I'm going to shut down for a second. We'll get this thing started up and pause out for a minute. Okay, we got a good flare going on the uh, coming out of the filters. They're all hooked up and ready to go. We're gonna do a little walk around. That's going good, making the heat. That's ready to go. I don't really like the looks of that. We might have to straighten that out a little bit. Yeah, gonna have to do that before I get started here. But, uh, I'm gonna turn on the, well, battery voltage is on. That's right out of the batteries. Looks like we're running 12 point something or other. Not quite 13. Shake her down again. And that's that mammy. Everything's still going. Here goes the manometer on the after the filters. And go. 
I gotta put this down. Okay, there we are. Making a lot of heat over there. I don't know what's in there burning? Nothing in the line. Oh, it's the paint. That's running hot. Sure, that's the paint burning. We're gonna have to do something about that. <laughs> I know what we'll do about it. We'll stick it right in this thing and we'll fire that little dust for dead Honda up. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, yeah. She's hot. So, are you ready? I am. Yeah, I can smell paint burning. Good deal. Okay, set her back up on the stand and we're ready for a fire. And I will turn on the <clears throat> turn on the coffee pot as soon as we get the, the engine running. Hopefully that'll start. It's a good day for it. Thank you. 
thinking, uh, I thought the lights came on, this thing, but maybe it's when it's done first. It's on. Good, that tenth gear is looking stiffer. 